So I've been trying to design my own extruder cover for the Bamboo Lab A1 printer, and let's just say I've been facing some difficulties. So for the time being, I decided to take a break from designing my own extruder cover, and funny enough, I've been seeing this extruder cover from BQ that literally has a LED screen. So yeah, today's video is about installing this LED screen called Nomi. I'd like to say also a big thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring today's video. So upon opening the package, I was randomly met with this rubber duck. I guess the duck is here to assist me in today's assembly. All right, let's start from the beginning. What's inside the actual package? Upon opening the box, you'll find your power supply cable, which uses the AMS port on the back of your A1 printer. You'll also be given some zip ties, which will be used to secure the power cable. There will be two packages. Inside, you'll find a user manual, which I'll use to guide us through this video. And by us, I mean you and myself, as it's my first time dealing with this product. This is a semi-transparent matte plastic shell. Very cool. I like the idea of someone being able to see what's happening in your extruder as your printer is working. Next up is our main component, the LED screen. What I love about BQ is that they allow you to purchase these parts separately. So if anything goes wrong with either component, you can always order a replacement. To begin assembling this extruder cover, you'll need to first remove the back cover, which you can do so by applying inward pressure on either side of the cover and bending it back with your other hand. Inside your second Nomi package, you'll find the LED screen, repair connection in case things go wrong. These wires are fairly thin. I'm thinking based on the looks of them, they're close to 22 gauge. Open up the package for your LED screen and take a look at this. Look at the amount of electronic components on this board. This is where I cue today's sponsored message as it is in relation to the type of services that you can get from PCBWay. Did you know that you can create these sort of PCBs yourself using programs like KiCad and exporting your plants and uploading them to PCBWay to receive a quote on how much it would cost to manufacture them. PCBWay also offers other services such as CNC machining and 3D printing of various material. Give them a visit by clicking the link down below or visiting PCBWay.com. This LED screen comes with a protective film. Face the LED screen as shown in the video right now. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about the rubber ducky. I believe the duck is here to supervise your install. Next, put the back cover back on. Make sure that you hear the cover stamp back into place. There are three grooves, two on either side and one on the top. Make sure that the tabs on the back cover are sitting in those grooves. And there you have it. Fairly easy to install so far. No real difficulties just yet. Now we go back to your printer. Begin by removing your extruder cover. You can do so by pressing inwards on the bottom corners and tilting it up. Remove the extruder wheel. Grab your power cable and feed it through the top of the tool head and through this tiny hole. Connect the power cable to Nomi and then mount the extruder cover back on as you would with your existing cover. I made a mistake of not taking off the extruder wheel at first. So hopefully I'll stop you from doing the same. Use the zip ties provided to secure the power cable now, there isn't anything in the instructions telling you how to run your power cable to the back of your printer, so that I will leave up to you. But I ran mine parallel with all the PTFE tubes. Once you finish organizing the cables and plugging in the power cable to the back of your printer, turn on the unit. You'll be met with a message asking you to scan the QR code with your phone, You'll be prompted to join the Pandanomi network, which you'll use to set up your internet connection and binding your printer to this device. Note, you'll have to provide the access code, which you can find by going to the settings on your A1 control panel. And selecting the LAN mode, there you will find your access code. You'll be notified if the binding was successful. Now you can begin customizing your Pandanomi. You can choose the color of the GIFs, and yes, I call it the GIF. Not GIF, but GIF. <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like for you to comment down below how you pronounce it. 
I'm 30 years old. I've been calling it GIF all my life. I'm not about to change course. All right, let me help you to set up your custom GIF. Goodbye, Mr. Ducky. You've been really helpful. So first, note that the size of the GIF and the dimensions are limited. I believe it's 240 by 240 pixels and 1400 kilobytes is the maximum size of a GIF you can upload. Take a look at this before we continue. That is so cool. It shows you all the animations for each part of what your printer is doing. My favorite is the eyes closed Nomi, when the printer is calibrating itself. Now, you can definitely make custom ones yourself, but what BigQ has is a GitHub section that has some other custom ones available for download. Let me show you. Begin by visiting BigQ's website. Again, the link is in the description. Note, it's an affiliate link. I may earn a commission if you decide to purchase their product. Search up Nomi and find the one for A1 printer. Scroll down until you find a section titled Files. Click it and you'll find yourself with folders that have GIF files in them. Select the custom folder and choose through which GIFs are of interest to you. Then, once you've found a custom GIF you'd like to upload, go back to Pandanomi network page and click Team. Here you'll find all pre-uploaded GIFs that you can change to your own. Click Update GIF and select your image. It will then update and will let you know if it's allowed or not in terms of the image specs. I found this particular Bamboo Lab E1 upgrade, the coolest one I've installed so far. Again, link is in the description. I have to say a big thank you to BigQ for sending me this and PCBWay for sponsoring today's video. I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.